A Saline County man says he's discovered a new way to save on gas and help the environment. It's a simple idea that could have a major impact. News 3's Andy Waterman is here now with the story. And Andy, what's the concept here? Well, Eden, it is a simple mixture of everyday gasoline and a small amount of diesel fuel. Now it can be used in just about any type of gasoline engine, anything from a BMW to a Chrysler. And folks who try it say that it actually works. For years, John Mullenix has been infatuated with cars and how to make them more environmentally friendly by cutting down on hydrocarbon emissions. Hydrocarbon output is the unburned fuel that goes out the exhaust pipe that is definitely a pollution. It's equal to smog. With his professional background in fueling systems, Mullenix tested different gasoline mixtures to cut down on pollutants. After trial and error, he found it. Using uh, one ounce of diesel fuel, to 10 gallons of gasoline. Mullenix says the diesel fuel helps burn away carbon soot that would otherwise be released out the tailpipe. The SIU Automotive Department found that to be true after testing the mixture. We got a 51% 50, improvement on hydrocarbon output and the uh, carbon monoxide was next to nothing. Mullenix uses the mixture in his own car. Even neighbors like Roy Wiggins are using it and say it helps performance too. The exhaust doesn't stink on it anymore and it's peppier. We decided to test the cleanliness of Mullenix's mixture by checking the tailpipes of our Toyota against his Cobalt. Now, as you can tell, our Toyota has a decent amount of emissions left. Meanwhile, his Cobalt, after we test it, his tailpipe is clean. Mullenix has a provisional patent on the mixture, but says the people he's selling it to are oil refineries. The everyday driver can use it as they please. I'm letting everybody know that all they have to do is put that one ounce of diesel fuel and 10 gallons of gas, and I don't charge them a dime for it. It's theirs. I just want to see cleaner air. Now, Mullenix was just told by the patent office that he can start licensing his mixture in foreign countries, but he's not very optimistic that refineries here in the U.S. will pick it up for the simple fact of politics and money. Reporting in Williamson County, Andy Waterman, News 3.